Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Hit that notification bell so you know the next time I put out a video. Today's video, I'm sharing with you my spring summer scents for this year. Um, I don't know what season you are in right now, but it's spring and summer here in Australia. These are some of the scents that I will be enjoying. Of course, I mix and match. I, you know, create my own blends um, depending on my mood and where I'm going and all those great things. So let's just start with number one, my favorite at the moment. This is the fragrance that I will start out with. This is Dolce & Gabbana, The One. Okay, this is not a new perfume, but I love it. I have repurchased it. This would be the third time of me owning it. I have owned the Eau de Toilettes. Now I have bought the Eau de Parfum. This is in the 75 mil. It is Ooh, ooh, every time I smell this fragrance, I just say, ooh la la, you know what? <laughs> it takes me back. It's so feminine, lovely. Okay, so the notes are mandarin, bergamot, lychee, and peach in the opening. Then it goes to the lily of the valley, white lily, you know, um, Vertiver root, ember, vanilla mask, you know, what's new? <laughs> but it's done so well here. It's so feminine. Oh, this is perfection for spring and summer. It has a touch of sweetness from that fruity, fruity vibe. Um, that must be the plum. And the lychee as well. It, it is so clean and has a touch of sweetness. If you do not like sweet scents, this is an exception, okay? I love it, okay? So go and try it if you have not already. This is a feminine woman in a bottle. When I am feeling posed, you know, just well-disciplined kind of lady and she is, you know, um, very elegant. She's very um, smooth in her walk, in her talk. She has a, a lovely, sweet voice. Um, sometimes when I'm wearing a certain outfit and I wear this perfume, you know, you just kind of get into character <laughs> with the fragrance you're wearing. If I'm feeling very sweet and soft spoken and just Oh, this, this is the fragrance I'll wear. This is not trying to bulldoze anybody. This is not that type of scent, okay? So again, Dolce & Gabbana, the one, love it. The next fragrance that I will be talking about is Lamp Paratrice by Dolce & Gabbana. They obviously know how to do really good fresh scents. By the way, this video is not sponsored, <laughs> okay? I'm not sponsored by anyone other than myself. <laughs> if I ever get sponsored, I would let you know, obviously, but everything was purchased by me or gifted by family or friends, but mainly bought by me. So let's move on. Lamp Paratrice by Dolce & Gabbana. Oh, this is a staple summer scent. It has a tartness that, that's the grapefruit. It has grapefruit in it and you know grapefruit is just sour. But in a fragrance that works because in summer you're trying to create a very fresh vibe and this, the sourness just adds a bit of oomph. You know? Anyway, it has watermelon in here, kiwi, aromas, 
so you know it's very appropriate for summer i really enjoyed it the first time i smelt this or the first couple of times i smelt this i did not like it it grew on me but even though i didn't like it i still would wear it and people would still compliment me so you smell so good i smell fresh even in the humidity you know so perfect perfect hot weather scent dolce & gabbana lamp Therese. our third fragrance today is versace this is dylan blue for women there's a male version of this perfume honestly it just looks expensive if you don't buy this perfume for any other reason, I would buy it for the bottle, <laughs> just because I'm like that sometimes. Um, I actually like the scent of this fragrance. I have days when I reach for it and days when I don't really feel like it because there's that Granny Smith apple in here um, and, I, and I like it only on some days, you know, it's not like, an everyday summer scent for me but it definitely can be a signature summer scent for someone else the fragrance has some ingredients that i'm not completely familiar with um, but the ones that i do know are patchouli um, jasmine cloves and some other plants in there it's a it's a floral touch of fruity but barely any you've got those um <laughs> caves and you've got that blue green water you're on a boat you're dressed in all white the wind through your hair <laughs> it's just it's like taking a bite in the granny smith apple it has a tartness a sourness to it and then the sweetness is just like at the back, you know? Um, to me, it's so basic now, but it is lovely and I do appreciate the bottle. It's kind of got this Greek, you know, God kind of vibe artwork. Other than wearing this perfume out at the beach, among the, the caves and the water, okay, I would see you wearing this perfume even at night even in summer but where you're on a balcony you know um, with an ocean view or um, city view just that nighttime vibe just because of the blue that dark deep blue it would work as well it is a summer scent but I think in any situation where you know you're feeling very feminine you want to be fresh and you've got that breeze going on and your hair is low you know is out straight like like this then you can wear this perfume next spring summer perfume is dolce and gabbana again but this is light blue intense intense not the original if you're into it then go ahead and get that one but i recommend the intense version if air had a color <laughs> blue air and clouds it's so light fresh it looks like the you know the baby blue and it smells like that as well it's very airy it has a zesty smell to it and that's from the lemon which is one of the ingredients so it has amber mask you know what's new <laughs> marigold mm, it's so good the first time i smelt it i was expecting like something very powerful and but no it's it's actually very very simple it smells pretty basic but on the body it just takes you to another world okay and if you don't appreciate it yourself other people around you will love it and they would definitely definitely compliment you and that is how i ended up 
falling in love with it because I was getting so many compliments and I was like, oh, look at, I trust these people's opinion. It must be really good. And then eventually I started to appreciate it more and more by myself, you know, it is lovely. Oh, it is good. So this is definitely one of those perfumes that you can make your everyday scent in summer. It doesn't matter whether you live in the desert, okay, with the scorching heat, humidity, whatever situation you have to deal with during summer, this will take you through it. It is amazing. It is sexier on than when you're smelling it in the bottle. I think it just mixes well with everyone's scent. It can take you to Vegas in the casinos. <laughs> you can wear this too, trust me. It can be your signature scent if you wish it to be. So it is definitely a win. The pricing is great as well. So yeah, it does have, you know, Jasmine, Ember. I think I already mentioned that. But yes, it is a must try. Let me just spray that now. Yeah, on my skin, the lemon pops. And then when it settles, that Granny Smith apple, it's actually one of the ingredients, so is in there as well. Anyways, I think you get the idea. Go ahead and try Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue Intense. I choose the Intense because I like everything intense and it's only a fresh scent, so it's not going to offend anyone. It's not going to um, upset anyone's nose, you know? Um, so that's that's my reasoning behind Intense. I do love the Tiffany and Co. Intense, even the EDP is fine, but the Intense as well is kind of like light blue Intense in the sense that it's not overpowering. It's just a better version of the EDP, okay? Um, I don't have my Tiffany and Co. perfume with me but just know it fits in this category of perfumes. It is a nice, fresh, feminine, sensual scent for summer. Well, it's Tiffany & Co. So, you know, what else do we expect other than perfection? Legendary at perfection. <laughs> Anyways, that's Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense. All right, the next summer fragrance is Miami Glow by JLo. This is a drugstore perfume, very affordable if you can find it. I love this one. It smells like sunshine, golden sand by the beach, the, the, the hues of the sun, the heat, the atmosphere of lively, happy people, okay? It's just really, really nice. So it has so many ingredients of things that I don't know of, but it does have, you know, that amber mask dry down. Um, it does have, um, what's that that I'm smelling? Okay, orange blossom. Pink grapefruit, black currant, blonde wood. Okay, some of these ingredients, you cannot smell them directly because of course they were blended in well, but you can definitely smell the pink grapefruit. You can smell, yeah, you can smell that stuff. So but it just smells like sunshine. It's very happy, 
and bright. This is definitely a bright sunny day perfume and it can carry you through to nighttime. It does just blend with the atmosphere around the whole summer vibe. Okay, so you can wear this at nighttime, but it just shines more during the day. That is my opinion. So yes, this is Miami Glow by JLo. Okay, so the next fragrance is Gin Fizz by Lubin Paris. I did make a whole separate video about this fragrance, so I won't delve into too much detail, but generally speaking, this is a sparkling cocktail drink in perfume form, <laughs> okay? A sparkling cocktail drink, honestly like a soda sparkling soda sweet very fresh mm. it has some hints of like a white floral um lemon lime that kind of vibe it is so good perfect for summer okay so this is clean plain but expensive all white red lip and we're good to go all right so i was gifted this bottle and the person said that they just loved the design of the bottle hence why they thought it would be a perfect gift for me and they did smell it in store And they knew that I don't have a lot of fresh citrusy scents or anything like that. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to add another one in my collection. And I love this. This is a summer cocktail drink done perfectly. The sillage is amazing. It stays on for hours. Honestly, it's so hard to do citrus fresh scents very well but they did great with this one. Oh yes. So when you have it on, you can tell that you have a perfume on, but you can't really identify whether, is it just like a nice shower gel? Is it just because you are just clean? Is it your natural scent? You don't really know, but you can tell it's definitely perfume because of that sillage and it is very, it's quite strong. So I sprayed it in a room, not purposely. I just kind of spritz it in the air as I do. And it was in the air for hours. I don't know how they did it, but it works. Okay. So yes, that's Gin Fizz by Lubin Paris. Love it. I might have to try all the other perfumes in their range. I love this bottle. <laughs> a nice hourglass heavy glass bottle next up is jimmy choo blossom so i was at the chemist and i was there for a completely different reason and ended up picking <laughs> this bottle up mm -hmm. i was attracted to the pink and i just wanted to try it and this was just a 30 ml bottle on sale, so I got it. I did not regret purchasing this. I love this perfume. It's so simple, sweet. It's got like red roses. After I purchased this perfume, I ended up going to another chemist to try other perfumes because you know, I was inspired and I was in a shopping mood. I started smelling different perfumes, you know, Tender Romance, Ralph Lauren, you know, different scents that they had in that particular chemist. And they just smelled weird um, because typically I smell perfumes over and over again in store before I actually purchase. Cause sometimes I'm just maybe not in a good mood and I just need, um, to get away and smell different perfumes in store. You know, that's just a fun thing that I do. 
so on this particular day i was smelling different perfumes and they just smelled off and i thought is it me so i sniffed the coffee beans just to clear my olfactory and i realized actually it's not it wasn't me so i called the sales assistant and i was like there's something wrong with these perfumes can you just smell them and see what is going on and <laughs> she tried them and she's like mm, they smell kind of weird let me get somebody else to try them anyway three sales assistants later they realized that all their perfumes had gone bad so needless to say i never went back to to that particular chemist especially for any perfumes or any other reason just because that's just bad like even though they were aware i did mention that because their fragrances are under a bright light um, and they've been sitting there for a long time. Some of them don't even have lids on them. It is just a bad setup for fragrances, perfumes. They will not last and they're exposed to all that heat. It was just a nightmare. I was just wondering how long have they been sitting there? Okay. And the sales assistant did mention that they only get one sample bottle and of course they, it's not like they refrigerate their perfumes so it means that all their other perfumes in that glass cabinet or whatever have all gone bad if they've been sitting there in this light you know with exposure to temperatures of all kinds the heat and everything it means that they other perfumes even if they're in their boxes they could have gone bad as well so why would i risk that because you know what i mean so i'm not buying perfume there so just be aware and be careful when you go to chemists to purchase fragrances even fragrances that have been put on sale because you never know maybe they put them on sale because they've been sitting there for too long okay that's just not right so you might as well just go to like Meyer or all those stores. <sighs> that was a long ramble, but it was definitely necessary. <laughs> um, so Jimmy Choo Blossom has red fruits. Um, it has raspberry. So you can smell that. I love sandalwood fragrances. Every time I like a fragrance, I discover afterwards that it had kind of sandalwood in it patchouli it had jasmine so, you know those ingredients are just my thing apparently so yes i really like this i went to buy gym something gym tights or something I, I can't remember it was in a sports store and the girl just complimented me so oh, you smell so good what fragrance is that and i I was trying to remember what it was Jimmy Choo Blossom but because people don't really know fragrances that well some people if you just say oh it's Jimmy Choo they'll think okay is that's the name of the fragrance they don't know that under Jimmy Choo there's like hundreds of perfumes so we kind of have to be specific say jimmy choo blossom but if you just say to them oh it's jimmy choo they'll be like oh, oh i'll go look for it it's like you will know where to start you know it's not just jimmy choo that that's just the brand <laughs> that's not the name of the perfume the only exception is this fragrance jimmy choo by jimmy choo <laughs> It has the brand name as the perfume name. Okay, so sweet, spicy, woody-ish, um, a typical fresh scent, very popular, perfect for summer and spring. And that is why it is included in this video. Um, I have mentioned this perfume in my previous video as well so go ahead and check out my other fragrance videos and yes it is definitely a basic staple in my collection okay lastly but not least at all is moschino gold fresh couture 
in the 100 ml I have here. Mm, I put this as my summer scent because of that tropical vibe it has. It has a touch of sweetness. It has mango, I know. Oh, oh, <laughs> it smells so good. This will carry you through summer nights, spring nights, okay? But it is perfect indoors, outdoors, whatever weather you want to wear this. It's perfect in winter as well. I think it's a year, all year round perfume. It can be a signature scent, but I could not get through this video without mentioning this perfume because it has summer vibes, okay? So I love it. It reminds me I don't know, is there cinnamon in here? There's something spicy, floral, fruity. Oh, it's so good, it's addictive. I, I even wear this to bed sometimes, you know, cause you're out of the shower, that steam, that body heat mixes well with that tropical vibe that has going on in this perfume. So yes, that is Moschino Gold Fresh couture love it go and try it okay we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like it and leave me a comment in the comment section what season is it over there where you live huh let me know and are you familiar with any of the scents that i have just mentioned let me know in the comment section and we can chat okay until next time thank you for watching bye